As I was perusing the internet last night, I saw something interesting, and I decided that I wanted to come on here and talk about it. it. It was some reports and some discussion being had out there about whether or not Dolph Ziggler would be potentially exploring his options after his WWE contract is apparently up in a few months, and whether or not he might actually leave the WWE. So I decided to come on here and do a video about it and ask the question to you and address it myself about whether Dolph Ziggler should leave the WWE. Now, in the interest of fairness and full disclosure, um, I've never been a Dolph Ziggler fan, except for the period of time when he was Dolph Ziggler and he was going up to people and shaking their hands and saying, Hi, I'm Dolph Ziggler. That Dolph Ziggler I liked. But when he stopped being that Dolph Ziggler... I ceased to care at all about Dolph Ziggler. Frankly, from my perspective, in my opinion, I think by hardcore fans, he's immensely overrated. He's solid in the ring, but I don't think he's nearly as spectacular as people make him out to me. His overselling and flopping around doesn't automatically make everything that he's involved with a good freaking match. I think his character is incredibly dull and boring and has been for years. I don't see a lot in the personality or charisma department. I don't think this is a guy that has really ever demonstrated much to me in terms of microphone skills. This is a guy that I can't remember the last time he was in a feud that actually captivated me or interested me in any way, shape, or form. So from a purely selfish standpoint, I would say if Dolph Ziggler left the WWE, as far as I'm concerned, good fucking riddance, who cares? I mean, he's been around a long time, and it's kind of one of these things where you get a little bit of fatigue when watching him because it's always the same thing. But if I put that selfish shit kind of aside, I ask the legitimate question of should Dolph Ziggler leave the WWE? And honestly, for him, from his standpoint, I think the answer should be yes because he's been with that company for a long time. We forget just how long he's been in the WWE, whether up on the main roster, in the developmental territory, what have you. This goes way back to him being Kerwin White's caddy, to being a member of the Spirit Squad, to being, hi, I'm Dolph Ziggler, to all of that. Off and on, you're talking about a guy that's been with the company for a freaking decade now. That's a long time. And when I look at somebody like Dolph Ziggler, even though I'm not a big fan of his, and even though I don't really get the the buzz behind him. One thing I've never really understood is why the WWE has featured him on television over the years, but never really bothered to truly make him that much of a big deal. They've never really tried to establish a Dolph Ziggler character. They've never really tried to develop said character. They've never really given him, in my opinion, that spotlight to really shine. And I would dispute you strongly if you say that they ever truly have. I don't understand why you would have a guy for so long, give him so much television time, but make so much of it such meaningless, pointless television time. I've never understood that. If you're going to have this guy, and clearly he has a following, clearly he has a fan base, why not give him a shot? And why not give him something to work with? Why not give him a chance? Now, I understand at times he's been a bit on the injury-prone side, so the WWE looks at him and has some concerns about his reliability factor if they put him into a big spot. I also understand from a standpoint of he's been there for so long that they've grown comfortable and uh, adjusted to where he is in terms of his position on the card and in the company. And the company doesn't necessarily see the need to really rock the boat because you know they've gotten familiar with him. They've gotten comfortable with him in a certain spot. They feel like he fills a certain role and that that's what he's best suited for. They also probably look at him and see another guy that's not all of that big, but not being the caliber of, let's say, a CM Punk or a Daniel Bryan or even a Seth Rollins doesn't really have that ability to connect with the crowd on a consistent basis to the level that those other performers do. I get all of that. But frankly, from Dolph Ziggler's standpoint, I wonder why the hell he would want to stay in the WWE. Now, sure, there will be monetary reasons that he perhaps would want to stay. And while the business is about making money, it's not just about making money, even though a large portion of it is. You know, I assume Dolph Ziggler gets paid relatively well for what he does in the WWE, but I would have to imagine, even if he were to leave the WWE, that he wouldn't be that bad off financially. He could go work for companies like Ring of Honor, Lucha, he could do other independent scene, maybe TNA would give him a call, who knows, you know, he could go work in Japan. The point being is there are options and alternatives out there. And with his television time from WWE, 
he could probably command a nice hefty appearance fee you know, and get himself a decent, consistent stream of bookings to the point where he probably wouldn't lose that much in the way of income. But what it would allow him to do, I think, is get out of that rut of what he's been in in the WWE. I mean, you're talking about Adolph Ziggler now. I think he's, what, maybe 33 to 35 years old. I don't know the exact age, but he's close to his mid-30s now. He's been with this company for a long time. At some point in time, it's kind of like shit or get off the pot with him. And for him, it's shit or get off the pot with the WWE. He's been there for so long that maybe in some ways he's become underutilized because he's become a bit of an underappreciated commodity. And there's always this guy that they can push or that guy that they can push. And all the while, a guy like Dolph Ziggler, fairly or not, justifiably or not, kind of gets pushed aside and kind of gets lost in the shuffle. You know, and maybe the best thing for him to do would be to leave the WWE for a period of time to let them know a little bit, maybe, hey, this is what you're missing. Maybe he could get a chance to go somewhere else and get opportunities to do other things that he, frankly, has never really gotten the opportunity to do in WWE. Like, to me, they always want to stick him with this, or they stick him with this lady. Vicky Guerrero didn't help him. AJ Lee didn't help him, just like Lana's most certainly not going to help him. You know, at some point in time, I sit there and wonder, why the hell would Adolph Ziggler want to stay in the WWE? Because there's a certain plateau there or a glass ceiling there for Dolph Ziggler that on the current path, in his current tenure with the company, he's never going to break through no matter how much you want it to happen, no matter how badly you think it should happen. It's just not happening. And maybe he could be one of those guys that could realize that there is indeed life after WWE and that he would be just fine without WWE. And maybe from a personal standpoint, from a professional standpoint, in terms of the way he'd be featured and utilized, he would enjoy not being with WWE. It would be better for him to not be in WWE. And frankly, maybe the best thing for all parties involved at this point in time would be for Dolph Ziggler to be gone for 12, 24, 36 months where both sides can have a greater appreciation for each other. So that way you could actually bring back a Dolph Ziggler at some point in time and make him a bigger deal. Let him go and do his thing and come back and maybe he's better off for it. Maybe the company, again, has a better appreciation for what he can bring to the table and they have an interest, they have a desire, they have a need for somebody like a Dolph Ziggler at that point in time and all parties really benefit. At this point in time, I just can't really see, other than a comfort standpoint, in terms of Dolph Ziggler really doesn't care about getting to that next level and he's content with getting that certain amount of money that he's going to get and that fear of the unknown. I can't really see why Dolph Ziggler would want to stay. And frankly, from this standpoint too, from the WWE's perspective, I can't see why the hell they would want Dolph Ziggler back anyways. He's not really much of a commodity to them at this point in time and they've made him that way and shame on them. You know, even though I don't like Dolph Ziggler and I'm not a fan of Dolph Ziggler, I assure you of this, if I'm booking in some capacity for the WWE, we've devoted this much television time over this many of years and he still gets a reaction from this segment of the audience, especially with the increased importance to the company of the WWE Network and those type of fans that subscribe to the WWE Network that also happen to coincide with being the type of fan base that likes a Dolph Ziggler, I would find better ways to feature a guy like Adolf Ziggler. I would at least, if anything else, give him a chance to actually have a real fucking character. I mean, for Christ's sakes, Dolph Ziggler now in 2015 is rocking Guy Liner in some ridiculous freaking denim cutoff vest. That's where we've gotten to with the Dolph Ziggler fucking character. He doesn't get microphone time. They don't put him in stories that consistently fucking matter. When they do involve him with something that potentially does fucking matter, it doesn't matter to the Dolph Ziggler character. It's always about somebody else, whether it's his opponent or the person that he happens to be aligned with. It's been that way for years, and it's continuing to be that way now. So should Dolph Ziggler leave WWE? Yeah. I think the bigger question is, is why the hell would Dolph Ziggler want to stay? In WWE. I don't know why. And I don't know why WWE would want him back at this point in time either. Other than, again, that comfort level. And they know he's a somewhat proven commodity to a certain level. But again, if you're not going to go all the way with him, you know, either shit or get off the pot. And from Dolph Ziggler's standpoint, probably the best thing he could do uh, from a professional standpoint, from a personal standpoint, is leave that freaking company. Go somewhere else and show the WWE what they're missing. 
and rub it in the WWE's faces. Maybe it matters, and maybe it doesn't. I just can't see why he would want to stay anymore. And frankly, I think he's even gotten to the point where some of the people that used to really love Dolph Ziggler have even gotten bored with him. When you get to that point, then it's time for you to go.